Two points dropped. And I'm still fuming. I'm still fucking fuming because that should have been three points on the board. Should be talking about how great the performance was. We should be talking about how we had Saka in the back pocket. And we should have spoken about how Cucurella, um, Cucurella bossed it. Gusto bossed it. The midfield bossed it. But instead, we're talking about one stupid error at the back. And uh, it's always just one fucking player holding us back. In all these years, we haven't had Arsenal in a spliff like that. In all these years, we've never been dominating them like that. And now it don't mean shit. It don't mean shit now. Now, I'm not going to be too reactionary and say he's been crap all season because he has saved us in some games. The Aston Villa match, the Bournemouth match, for example. I'll give him credit for those games. But you're now starting to pay for these shoddy passes. <clears throat> and now you need to pattern the fuck up. Because I'm not going to say bench this guy immediately. If Poch wants to do it, go for it. Like I, my, That's not my hill to die on. I don't care too much. But if he starts and he's doing the same bullshit against Brentford, I need Petrovic against Tottenham. I need Petrovic against Spurs. And I'm saying, would you give Petrovic a chance? Yes, I would. It's just, I don't really know anything about him. It's like the same as just giving Brozier that Fulham game. Just go out and have fun. I don't care. Don't make any difference. Can't be any worse. The only good thing coming out of this game is that I feel a little bit more confident for the matches coming up. I think we can give Brentford a good game. We can beat them. Tottenham, we should be able to go there and give them a good game too. Man City is what it is. Like, I, I, just pray. Just pray in all honesty. But I feel a bit more confident. We just, we've dropped more points. We've dropped more points. And from a winning position like that, it's not acceptable. I know I said coming out of the game, I might accept a draw. But not under those circumstances. I'm not accepting a draw when we're 2-0 up with 18 minutes left to go of the game. And we fucking bottled it. Big up to LFC saying, big up Lewis, you peppered Arsenal. Could have made it 3-0 multiple times. Arsenal fans are so shameless celebrating. Well, they are shameless. Like, we know North London is full of fucking losers. So what difference does it make? Hey, we, we drew against 10th place Chelsea. The same Chelsea team that we've been mocking all season. The same Chelsea team that we've called mid-table and dusted and inexperienced and crap and overrated. Now we're celebrating a draw against them. That is their mindset. That is them. That's why we are not Arsenal. That's why we will never be Arsenal. And that's why I'm as well. I'm not accepting anything like, oh, at least we left with a point. Oh, we played well. No, shut up, man. I ain't listening to it. The only stat that matters over anything is the final score and we dropped a point. It's as simple as that. The one thing I will give them is that coming back from 2-0 down, when you've been doing fuck all all game, it does show a bit of resiliency. That, that can be praised. As much as I hate it, every single week I talk about Arsenal, I say these men are fucking resilient and they never know how to die. We should, have, we should have just been holding on to possession, slowing things down, not doing anything stupid, not doing anything over the top. And then this fucking idiot goalkeeper goes and passes the, the ball and passes the game away. To be fair, play like that yesterday, we beat City. No, because we will throw the game away. The game is played in 90 minutes, my friend. It's not played in 70. Like, we'll have a better performance. I believe that. Will we beat them? This is what it's like at the top level. At the top level, you can play poorly and you can still leave a game with a draw. Because the teams below you will make mistakes, like us. This is why I'm not thinking like, oh, this means we're, we should be beating these teams and everything. No, we should be playing better and we should be getting results. But I'm not guaranteeing those, get, those results. I want six in our next two. Six points. But we have to make sure nobody has a fuck up first. Because that's what always seems to fucking happen. Um, next transfer window, we should go for a goalkeeper or striker. Now, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, I don't care. Sanchez, prove us wrong, innit? Prove us wrong. You cost us. You cost us big time today. 
in the next few games, if you can ball out and you show that you can pass to a Chelsea player consistently, maybe we don't need we don't need to go for a goalkeeper. A striker, though, kind of with you. I'm with you. Because we can talk about how we still lacked that, like, killer edge in front of goal. Jackson, like, he, he shouldn't have really come on. The guy wasn't sharp at all, and you could just tell just watching him on the pitch. He didn't look like he was up to speed. But if we have, like, a Tony or an Oshim, and maybe we kill them off. Maybe we bag a third. Maybe we do. So if a, if an experienced striker is available in the, in January, go for it. Go for it. 